Our lesson for today is Java classes and object. Java programming is an object-oriented programming language. Everything in Java is associated with classes and object, along with attributes and method. So like for example, a car. A car having an attribute of a color, weight, then meron din siyang method, which is to break and to drive. A class is like, like a blueprint. So if we want to create an object, we need to create first the class to identify the attribute. So how to create a class? The keyword is the class itself. Class, space, the name of the class. Let's say student. Gagawa tayo ng blueprint for student. Student. And then the open brace and the close brace to identify the start and stop of your class. If we are dealing with student, meron siyang attribute. First is ID. But if we are dealing with the ID number, pwede natin gamitin integer. Whole number. Then add ulit tayo ng attribute. Name. If we are dealing with names, that is one or more character. Ang gagamitin natin is string. And let's say course. Course is the same data type. String din yung gagamitin natin. Yeah. So, ibig sabihin, I declare class having three attributes, which is ID, name, and course. The same sa example ko kanina, which is a car. Meron siyang attribute, color, and weight. Same with this class, student, meron siyang ID, name, and course. Every student, meron ID, name, and course. Now, let's try to declare an object. Now, how to declare an object? First part is the type. Pag sinabing type, that is the name of your class. So, every object meron siyang associated with the class. So, the first part is type, which is student. Saan nang galing to? This is the name of our class. Student space. The name of the object, let's say S1, is equal to new student and then close and open parenthesis to identify as a function. So, meron na tayong object. The name of our object is S1 having an attribute of ID, name, and course. So, ibig sabihin, kinuha natin lahat ng attribute na diniklear natin under the class student. So, yung object S1 natin, have, meron na siyang attribute na ID, name, and course. Then, pwede tayo mag-declare ng multiple object in our main method. Pwede rin natin siya i-declare parang ganyan. Student S2 as a new object. Then, pwede natin siya i-terminate. And then, S2 is equal to new student. So, pwede natin siya i-declare. Pwede natin tayo mag-declare ng object as one declaration. Or, pwede natin siya i-declare with the partial declaration. So, meron na tayong two objects. Now, how to populate or how to initialize a value of an object? Since, gaya ng sabi ko, itong dalawang object, meron na silang attributes. Saan nang galing attributes na yan? Nang galing sa class, student. Since sila yung bagong object, student. Now, to populate this one, First thing you need to do is to identify the object name. Diba, ko sana S1. Kung gusto mo mag-save kay S1. And then, pwede mo lagyan yung ID niya. Diba, ko sana S1, 2, 3. And then, pwede mo rin lagyan yung attribute name niya. It's equal to, let's say, Juan de la Cruz. And then, pwede rin mo rin lagyan ng yung attribute niya, the separator is period, and then, pwede mo rin lagyan yung attribute niya na course. Let's say, PSIT. Then, after that, yung mga attribute niya, automatically pinil up natin with the initial value of 1, 2, 3, 1, the lacros, and the SIT. Now, how to display the value of the object? Same ways on how we initialize the value of the object. 
we use the separator period to identify the attribute name or the variable name. So let's try to display using statement line. System that out that print line. That's the print line. And then lagay tayo ng string literal id space concatenate with object name s1 dot id and terminate so ibig sabihin na display natin the word id as a string literal and then the value of object s1 attribute id let's try to compile compile my error da ulit <laughs> yeah, course Ah, wala siyang terminator. Yeah. Let's try to run. Walang function symbol, sorry. Function symbol. And then, run ulit natin. Run. And then, execute. So, the first na nag-display display is the string literal ID. And then, 1, 2, 3. Saan nang galing yung 1, 2, 3? Galing siya kay object S1 attribute ID. Now let's try to display the next one, the name and course. System that out that print line and then string literal OLED, let's say name colon face then concatenate with the S1 or the first object and then name then terminate copy na natin to then change natin to into course and then i-call natin yung attribute niya na course so ang expected output natin is to display the word id and then 1 2 3 name and then the value of the attribute name course and the value of the attribute course in object s1 Compile ulit natin. Yun, walang error. And then, execute. So, here it is. 1, 2, 3, 1 de la Cruz, and DSID. So, now, if we want to store in the second object, same way lang din naman yung gagawin natin. Paano ulit? Identify the name of the object. Let's say S2, separated with a period, and then the attribute name, ID. And then, pwede na ulit tayo mag-initialize na another or a value of our second object. Let's say, 1, 2, 4. Terminate. And then, identify the name of the object. Second object, S2. And then, separate it with a period. And then, the attribute, say name, is equal to Clark Kent. <laughs> Superman. And then, S2. That the attribute course and then let's say ang course niya is bscs then terminate so ibig sabihin magkaiba na yung value ni object s1 at s2 now if we want to display the value of object s2 gagawin natin gamit tayo ng statement line to display copy na lang natin and then I change natin yung value niya from object 1 gawin natin siyang object 2 s2 and s2 then compile then execute so here's our output so the first part is the first object and then the second part of our output is the second object which is s2 so that's the way on how to declare a class and how to use an object and initialize the value of an object. Thank you for listening, guys.